My name is Drew Bridges and I wrote the book, The Second Greatest Baseball Game Ever Played. In 1997, my father died and I ended up with a hundred letters that he had written to my mother from World War II. I read the letters from cover to cover, did not recognize the man in those letters, learned things about him, his war experience, learned that the life that he planned after coming home from war did not happen. But I took from the letters what he wanted his life to be like and contrasted it with what his life was like and put that into the basic storyline of the book. Uh, the book is told in part from the hundred letters. In part, it's my clueless, wimpy kid coming of age, 10-year-old story. And in part, it's a specific game that my father organized which led to the founding of the local Little League program in my hometown. My father organized two teams of 10 to 14 year olds and we played a real game with a real umpire. It was a, an event that pulled together many of the different themes that I wanted to write about my father. I mean, I wanted to do something that honored him, to tell his story and to tell my story. It's a father-son story. It's a soldier come home from war story. It's a baseball story. I think anyone who played youth sports will like this book because it's about the forming of a little league. I think any father who ever coached a son or a daughter, and I think any family that watched for a soldier to come home from war would see at least some of their own story in this story.